Hey everyone, it's Joe. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very exciting unboxing slash haul. We are talking about and unboxing the Travelers Company B-Sides and Rarities release, which was announced back in March and possibly early February, but has since received a lot of attention and hype because these inserts are limited edition and also are celebrating the 15th anniversary of the Travelers Notebook. So it's a pretty big deal, at least if you're a fanboy of Travelers Company company like me. Uh, but let's talk about the different stories behind this release and the actual reason why it's named B-Sides and Rarities. Basically, this release is kind of linked to vinyl records and that aesthetic, as you can tell from like the stickers and the, the branding for this release. But basically, a lot of records have an A-side and a B-side. And the A-side is usually where the songs that the artist and the record label was hoping to be a big hit. It's usually where all like the popular songs are. And then the B-side often had like bonus tracks or some tracks that are a little less like commercial and still wanted to be part of like the actual record but weren't like the big hits but that doesn't mean that there was a lack of creativity or attention put into it there was more room for the artists to put more artistic freedom in those songs and those tracks hence b-sides travelers company wanted to run with the idea of b-sides and released some inserts that they've designed over the past few years that have very specific and limited use cases but the idea behind that is that they wanted to release these amazing inserts to find some new and interesting ways to use your traveler's notebook and someday they hope that these b-sides might become a bigger hit than the a-sides aka their current existing regular inserts i think that's really cool but let's take a look at the specific inserts that they've released and give you a little bit of a review for each one so first up, they release this washable paper insert, which is really cool. The whole insert is washable, even the cover, and they release it in both sizes, the passport and the regular, and there's 48 pages. It looks really cool, super niche. This is the one that I was super hyped up for when the release came up because I thought, oh, I can like journal in the shower, but then again, you need like waterproof ink and all of your other stuff need to be waterproof. But I think it's really cool for like ideation. And I think if you're like a gardener, this would be super cool because you can just have your notebook outside you know taking notes of your plants and your other things um, and if it gets spilled on with some water it's fine so i think it's really cool just get like a really awesome waterproof pen and you're good to go uh, the next insert is probably the one that i am most hype up hyped up about this is the sticker release paper they come in both sizes as always there's the regular size and the passport size and i like this insert because i have a whole bunch of these stickers that um you know are partially used and i don't want to keep the whole sheet because there's probably like three stickers left so you can take those stickers and put them in a sticker release insert like this one and you can repurpose these stickers without having to carry like that huge sheet of almost empty stickers so i think that's a really cool use case i wanted to purchase this because i've seen a lot of really cool uh sticker books that people have and there's a lot of companies that are making them but i wanted one specific for my traveler's notebook because i do use a lot of stickers and washi tapes and i think it might be a good way to preserve some sheets that i've been hoarding that have like two or three stickers left on them. So this is probably one of my favorites of the release, but let's carry on. We have the accordion fold paper. This is an insert that unfolds like a map. And I believe there are like 13 pages in total, although it's just really in reality, just one really long sheet of paper that's been folded in accordion way. I thought this insert was really cool, but upon opening it, I think it's one of the inserts that I was the least excited about because it's a very limited use case i do think that using it for a trip would be super cool uh some people also said that would be really cool for like making a map of your road trip and then making like little journaling um entries along the way um on your map that would be super cool uh i think i will probably use this insert when i go on my first like post covid trip uh but yeah nonetheless it's still a cool insert um hopefully other people get creative and um use this insert in cool ways to inspire me to use it uh, but right now it's the insert that i'm least stoked about but i'm glad that i have in my collection next up we have the super lightweight paper which is really cool this is kind of like taking 
the Travelers Company regular lightweight paper and make it, in, make, make it, in, making it even thinner. Um, this has 128 pages, which is crazy. It's almost as uh, many pages as like the regular Archer and Olive notebooks. The one interesting note about this insert is that it is oil proof. Uh, the paper is oil proof, which is interesting. And apparently it um, can take fountain pen ink. And as you can see in the footage, I used a fountain pen um, on this and it worked really well. There was um, ghosting for sure. There's a lot of ghosting, um, but there was no bleed through and there was no feathering, which is really cool. Um, I can't wait to get creative with this. I actually bought this in both of the sizes. Um, I probably didn't say it earlier, but this came in both regular and passport size. I purchased this in both sizes and I kind of want to get creative and use it in my passport insert for some more interesting and unique journaling spreads. Next up, we have the message card. This is a really cool insert. I think a lot of people bought this because there's a cute cow on the front of the insert, which I, I don't know if it makes sense with this insert, but I love it nonetheless. I think this is my favorite cover of the uh, B-sides and rarities. This is a cool insert because this has some beautiful note cards in there that have been stamped or printed on using letterpress. Uh, this comes in both sizes and you can tear off each of the letter cards um, because there are perforations in this notebook. There are seven designs and there are five sheets, so there are 35 sheets in total or 35 little note cards in total. And I think you get your bang for your buck. Um, and there's a lot of repeats, so you can hoard some for yourself and then you can give them away. So at first I felt guilty keeping this just for myself, but there are more than enough um, repeats that you can give away to people and not feel guilty about it. Next up, we have the letter pad insert. This one's really cool. This one has the beautiful cotton MD paper. This insert opens a little bit differently because um, it's a letter pad so there's no like saddle stitch binding or staples in the middle um, but it's nice because you can write these beautiful letters and um, cleanly tear off the paper to give to the person that you're writing a letter to um, they advertise this as something that you can put in your craft insert to kind of house it in like a neat way and I think it's really cool I don't really like write a lot of letters but I think now that I have this insert I will be writing more letters and it might be cool to use this even just as a regular uh, journal insert because it has the beautiful MD cotton paper which takes a lot of different inks um, and is just a wonderful soft paper to write with. And last but not least, we have the cotton zipper pouches or zipper cases. Um, there are two colors in the regular size. I got both. Please don't judge. Um, I got the green olive one and then the orange one, which is more of like a burnt orange. Um, I really like these two colors and they match my Lamy Safari 2021 release. Um, so if you're into that, you can match your pens with your notebook accessories. And then they also released um, two passport versions, one in this mustard yellow, which I purchased, and then one in this blue. I would have purchased the blue as well, but it felt ridiculous buying all three. Um, if you are new to the Traveler's Company, you might have not seen anything like this, but there are a lot of um, like after party brands that create zipper pouches in like leather and different materials. Traveler's Company has also worked with other companies like For Roof and then the To and Fro uh, release. Uh, they've done a lot of these before, but I think these are really nice because they are waxed cotton, so they should be a little bit more durable. And I personally like this um, insert because it's super thin and lightweight. I also really like that this is created by craftspeople from suburbs of Tokyo, so it's uh, locally produced if you're in Japan. Uh, but yeah, it's made with paraffin waxed fabric, and it should change and morph over time because it has that wax nature. If you've owned like waxed denim or waxed jeans, you can kind of tell that they change over time. I really like the look of like that waxed uh, fabric over like many months and years because it has that weathered almost leather like look but I don't know if these will look like that but we shall see and that does it for today's unboxing slash little overview of the notebook inserts I actually unboxed this on my twitch stream if you want to see like the full-on reaction of these inserts when I was opening them. I was super hyped and I'm so happy that I got 
almost all of the inserts. I didn't buy all of the passport inserts because um, not every insert appealed to me, but I'm glad that I have a piece of this release because it's a fun kind of celebration of the 15th anniversary of the Traveler's Notebook. I was low-key hoping they would release a new colorway, but this is still a really cool release and I think you should check it out. There's still many other third-party sites that are selling them, but if you want to purchase directly from Traveler's Company, the Traveler's Company USA site still has some of the inserts and then if you're in Japan, you can order directly from Traveler's Company Japan. Again, there's many retailers all over the world that are selling them. So if you have any questions about where to purchase it, um, leave it down in the comments below because I'm sure we can help each other out and find different inserts. If you are in Canada or BC, check out Paperia and also I believe Wonder Pen's Noteworthy and I believe a few other Canadian retailers still have them in stock so definitely check them out and I think that's it if you want more um, videos regarding these inserts let me know I kind of want to set up a traveler's notebook that has all of the uh, sticker release uh, notebooks because I have three of those inserts and I want to make a master sticker book but let me know if you want to see that and I think that's it folks I will see you all next time let me know in the comments below which inserts you got because I just want to know what everyone got it's interesting to see what um, people don't purchase and what they do purchase from this release and i'm just generally curious stay safe and i will see you on monday bye everyone